Stephen Natasha, the suspect was arrested in South Carolina this afternoon, we're told by authorities here in New Jersey. They identified the suspect as Jaquise Timmons of Patterson, New Jersey. He is 28 years old and now faces a number of charges, including attempted murder and aggravated assault. Timmons is expected to be extradited to New Jersey at some point in the coming days. Now, authorities say he is the suspect who allegedly shot at two unmarked vehicles yesterday after an attempted home invasion in Patterson. In those two vehicles, two New Jersey Street state troopers. One of the troopers was shot in the leg. He was rushed to the hospital and underwent surgery yesterday. He is expected to make a full recovery. They did not release any details about that trooper. All we know is that he's an eight-year veteran of the force. The, here's more on the investigation. Authorities saying it was surveillance video that helped capture that suspect. At the time of the shooting, the troopers were involved in the investigation of an attempted break-in of a home on East 26th Street hours earlier. Timmons was one of the suspects being sought in that attempted break-in. Surveillance footage from a fixed residential location in the area of East 26th Street and 9th Avenue captured a figure later identified as Timmons stepping out from behind a parked vehicle, assuming a shooting stance, and opening fire on troopers' vehicles as they attempted to follow a vehicle believed to be involved in the attempted break-in. Thankfully, Mr. Timmons did not succeed in the attempted murder of these two troopers. Now, the attorney general telling us that a handgun was recovered. It was a 10 millimeter handgun that Timmons did not have a permit for. Again, he is expected to be extradited here to New Jersey. He was captured in South Carolina. As for the state trooper, he has been released from the hospital and is expected to make a full recovery. Again, this could have been a lot worse, and that's what authorities are telling us here today is that thank God that this state trooper is alive and suffered, of course, minor injuries. We're live in Newark tonight. I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. Back to both of you inside. All right, thanks, Jess. Please.